Hey guys and welcome back to another card review. So yes, today we are looking at the burning of a tuner. I know, but everybody is saying, but it's a fake, it's a fake, there's nothing a fake, it's a fake. Okay, I, I know, like who would ever have the audacity to look at a fake card and analyze if it was real, huh? <laughs> okay, so despite this card not being the real thing, we, of course, are still going to look at it and just analyze it if it's a real card. So, think of it as just fake card Friday on Thursday. Like, that's never been done before. My bad. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and go over this card. So, uh, it, it says name unknown, because we really can't say his name. Mal Branch of the Burning Mist. So, I guess I'll just put Mal Branch of the Burning Mist. Uh, from what I can see on the image, I'm guessing the image isn't fake, so uh, from what I can see, it's a dark level 3 fiend tuner effect monster with, I think, 100 attack and 2100 defense, so at least it's a nice booty. So, um, apparently this effect is not the real effect, but I'm going to go ahead and analyze it if it was a real effect, and uh, to see how it is, of course. Alright, so it has the usual burning effect. This effect, so if you control a monster that is not a Burning Abyss monster, destroy this card. This card cannot be used as a Synchro material except for Synchro Summoning of a Burning Abyss monster. So, uh, no, like, no Goyo Guardian, no Brown. Oh my god. I, I, I'm, I'm off topic here, but think about, think of, think of Brownic was not banned. Oh my god. Just Brownic effect, pitch, effect, pitch, effect. Like, oh my god, no. But, uh, yeah, no Goyo, so. Uh, that sucks. It can only be uh, synchro for a uh, a burning abyss. So only Virgil. If this card, if this is really is. That said, we're not sure which how much of this effect is actually true, how much of it isn't. You know, if Konami actually wants to have that whole only can synchro something for a burning abyss monster, but really you don't need much of anything else. I mean, unless you want to go for Goya, but you don't need anything else. You don't need any of that wolf guy. You don't need HTS. You you don't really you don't even need Goya because Virgil is just too good, too good. Anyway, uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard for a Synchro Summon, draw one card. So, uh, it immediately pays you back for your play. So, usually when you Synchro Summon, of course, you neck. You take a minimum two cards and Synchro Summon them into one monster, therefore neggy. But of course, by this card allowing you to draw a card, you even out. Because you use this card and whatever the non-tuner is, Synchro Summon into Virgil. And then, you know, so two for one. But then, of course, you get to draw a card. And hey, that bur that card that you draw might be that Burning Abyss card that you need to discard for Virgil to go ahead and spin something back to the deck. So, uh... That's probably one of the best effects that you can give to a tuner monster is being uh, giving that draw when it's sent to a graveyard for a synchro uh, draw card, you know, so that's that's a great effect right there. Um, now, you can only use one of the following effects of this card once per turn and only once that turn. So, he has his usual effect that if you control no spell and trap cards, you can uh, special summon this card from your hand, like all the burning best. So, you can just go, oh, I have no back row. Special summon. Uh, you know, normal summon, uh, and go ahead and uh, synchro, right into your um, right into your Virgil. So you can do that. But it also has this other effect, and like I said, the effect is not confirmed. But I'm just gonna go ahead and analyze it if it is uh, confirmed. So this card sent to the graveyard. You can special summon it. And I know a ton of people are here like, oh, if it sends a graveyard, you can special summon it. That's great. You, know, you can just mathematician. That mathematician would be a one card. You forget about that first thing. If you control a monster that's not a burning abyss, destroy this card. So as soon as you go mathematician, send this guy. This guy's effect would activate graveyard, summon himself, and then he would just die. So, you know, it doesn't have any bonus brownie effect like the, all the other burning abyss. It's not like, oh, well, I was destroyed, so uh, you can go ahead and summon one from the deck. Or I was destroyed, you can summon one from uh, the graveyard or something like that. No, he would just die and you'd be shit out of luck. Yeah, so... He has no bonus effect from the graveyard when he's destroyed. He's just destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you know? And, and you know, of course, 
uh, its effect can only be activated only once that turn. That's a good thing that they said you can only use the one of the falling effects once once per turn, only once that turn, because that would be stupid. <laughs> it would go mathematician, effect, send him to the graveyard, his effect, summon back to the graveyard, he would automatically get destroyed, effect, because he sent to the graveyard, summon him back, and it would literally just keep looping. <laughs> but no, you can only use the effect only once per turn, only once that turn. So, literally, we got mathematician, send him, he would his effect would go off, he would summon himself to the Summon himself, and then he would get killed, and that would be the end of it. So, yeah. So, mathematician is great for sending him, and all is great. And of course, like I definitely said when I reviewed Virgil, you're gonna need that crane, 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 crane. Summon him back from the graveyard. Of course, he will be negated. Go ahead and synchro summon into your Virgil and draw a card. So, you know, so that's like what? That's just a plus because you go crane, 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 summon from the graveyard. So you're still plusing because crane crane pluses you one and you synchro summons so you're still just totally fine you're still at one then you draw a card yeah you're plusing you're plusing so crane crane definitely definitely gonna be good if this card was real but we still we know that they're getting a tuner we know that the tuner is gonna be level we know that this at least the art's not safe the effect may be incorrect but the art looks legit so we know it's a dark, we know it's a level 3, we know it's a fiend, we know it's a feck monster. Uh, it's, the picture's very, very blurry, but what I can get from it is 100 attack and 2100 defense. We know they got something, alright? We know it. We know they got a level 3 tuner, so that doesn't excuse not running Crane Crane, which Crane Crane will definitely help. You know, you're still going to be running Tour God, of course. Can't Synchro Summon with, you know, the monster summoned by, um, uh, by, uh, Tour God, so it can't be used as single material. But, uh, Crane Crane, definitely, definitely. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and have to come back and review this again, right? Because, uh, when it gets its true effect, we'll see. But, uh, this effect's definitely good, definitely good. Like I said, their, their tuner monster could have been a normal monster. This card could have been a normal monster with 2100D, and it still would have been great. So, uh, no complaints, no complaints. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see its real effect. We've got a cool minute, but as I'll tell you right now, as soon as we get the real effect, the next card review, I will go ahead and review the true effect. Come back to this card again. But for right now, from the fake effect, this card's actually pretty good. Definitely, definitely gonna be played. So yeah, I'd say, I'd say one. Yeah, I'd probably say one, just because you can revive it from the graveyard through Crane Crane, get it back to your hand through Dante, you know, summon it from the graveyard. So, you know, it, like I said, it doesn't have one of those floaty effects. It kind of just summons itself, which is kind of, you know, if it doesn't have like an effect like, oh, well, I'm gone, summon one from your deck, or oh, summon one from the graveyard, or oh, go ahead and search. No, it just kind of by itself. So, yeah, I'd say probably one. Probably one. All right, so... Despite this card being fake, I still hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, review. So tell me what you guys think about this fake card and whether, what, what do you see, what plays would you do with it if it were actually real, like the actual effect. Like I said, we know that it's actually, we, we know they're getting a tuner, but we just, right now, this effect is fake, so we gotta wait for the real effect. Alright, so, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.